Hello everyone, myself Mohammad Tonen and today I am going to teach you SSLC that is 10th Mathematics. So the topic which I am going to teach you is Quadratic Equation and this topic is the 10th chapter in your SSLC state both syllabus. Fine. So let us start with the chapter now. So what is the name of the chapter here? The name of the chapter is Quadratic Equation. I repeat, the name of the chapter is Quadratic Equation. This is the 10th chapter in your SSLC Mathematics Syllabus. Fine. So, first let us go in deep to understand what is the meaning of this Quadratic Equation. Fine. So, any equation of the form AX square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is called as quadratic equation. I repeat, any equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is called as quadratic equation. Fine. Now, in this, what is this a, b and c? You may ask me, what is this a, b and c? This a comma b and c are called as constants i repeat this a comma b and c are called as constants constant means it cannot be changed so what are these constants these constants can take any real value or it can be any real number is it clear now now moving on to this what is this x square and x here this x square x are nothing but it is called as variable fine so this quadratic equation that is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is called as quadratic equation in terms of variable x fine it is a quadratic equation quadratic equation in variable x is it fine suppose if i take this variable as y that is y square y and so on so it will be called as the quadratic equation in the variable y i think it is more clear to you fine and one more thing to learn from this equation is the highest degree of this equation that is the highest degree of this variable cannot exceed 2 means the maximum power of the degree of the variable x can only be 2 it cannot be 3 it cannot be 4 or it cannot be 1 fine and one more thing to be very clear in this is the first constant that is a this a cannot be equal to 0 you may ask me why because if i equate a is equal to 0 this entire term will get reduced to 0 and we will be left out with only bx plus c and since the highest degree of this x will be 1 this cannot be called as quadratic equation now moving forward let me give you one simple example to understand this so the example here is x square minus 6x plus 100 is equal to 0 now you may ask me, sir, is this a quadratic equation? 100%. This is a quadratic equation. Why? Because this equation is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now you may ask me, what is a here? Carefully observe, the coefficient of x square is 1. Therefore, I can write a is equal to 1. Similarly, compare this with this. So, I can write b is equal to minus 6 clear similarly c what will be c any idea so comparing this and this c is 100 percent nothing but the constant 100 the constant 100 fine so this is one of the example of quadratic equation here i hope students this is very much clear to you what do you mean by quadratic equation now let me give you one more example like this so, 4x square minus 125 
is equal to zero. Can you tell me is this a quadratic equation? Yes, hundred percent. Why? Because compare this and this. So anywhere, if you want to check whether the given equation is a quadratic equation, the first step is you need to write the general equation. That is a x square plus b x plus c. After writing this, you need to compare this equation with this equation. Only then you can tell that it is a quadratic equation. Now from here, tell me, compare this equation with this. So the coefficient of x square here is four. So from this, what can I write for a? A is nothing but four. Is it fine? Now how about this b x? So you can can you find x here? No, right? Therefore, here b into x is not there. From this, we can hundred percent write b is equal to zero. B is equal to zero. Similarly, how about this c? C is nothing but constant. So compare this with this. C is nothing but c is nothing but one twenty five. That is, c is minus one twenty five. So from this second example, I think. you are very much clear with the definition of quadratic equation thank you